Well, I received uh, many DMs this weekend alerting me to a uh, a blog, a website. What do you call it? It's I just know it as an Instagram account. Oh, Dumois. Dumois? It's Dumois. called Dumois. What? Like yeah, have you been I living know. under what? a rock? Yeah, even I, I mean, come on. No, I've been I, waiting I actually really day. didn't know about it. You didn't? Uh, what? I didn't know about Dumois. Oh. I knew about that blind item shit because they wrote something shitty about me. They said that um, I got my job here by sleeping with Andy Cohen and that he and I did coke together. So well, that's only half true. I was only, one say. Of, only one of these things is true. Where's yeah. the lie? Right. <laughs> like one truth, one lie. <laughs> Two truths and a lie. Yeah. So it's important to the story because I guess many months ago, I talked about blind item and yeah. how they're liars. Because right. it is a lie. That's cra- crazy, crazy days and nights was yeah. that one. Okay, fine. This is different. Yeah. So this is what uh, was written, and it's amazing to me how they just print these lies. But it says, uh, Jeff Lewis, uh, so someone reported, Jeff Lewis just stole my drink at High Tops in WeHo. He's belligerent. They are both the biggest bitches. So that's probably Stu. He's being so rude to the bartender. He literally yelled out loud, how can you fuck up every drink? It's not hard. Okay. so Anon, l- please. <laughs> so let me tell you about Anon. Right? Let me tell you about me. First of all, I am the nicest drunk out there. That's true. true. Yeah. I don't yell at people. No. I kiss them. Yes. I hug them. I tell them. Grab their I love them. Yes. At na- at nausea. This is yeah. very okay. true. That's number one. Mm-hmm. Number two. When you are an alcoholic, every bartender is your fucking hero. There right. is no way. That I would be yelling at a bartender. And not only is the bartender my hero, it is the woman that is serving me the drink or the man. It is the person that clears the old drinks for the new drinks to make room for the new drinks. I am very grateful and appreciative to people yeah. in the service industry. You always are. Yeah, you're, you're very I, kind. And I also and you tip call out, generous. You call out bad behavior when you see other people. And uh, we at High Tops, I'm assuming this is on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. We were ordering sure. pitchers. So even if... I was upset about a drink, which I wasn't. We were just getting pictures anyway. Right. So I believe it is that crazy stalker yeah. who was removed from oh, the bar from table. twice. Yeah. Yes, of course. Because Stu ended up getting in an argument with him, if you remember, because he wouldn't leave us alone. Yeah. He put himself in between Stu and I, and Stu's like, hey, I want to spend time with my boyfriend. Can you go back to your friends? And at one point when Stu went to the bathroom, he sat on Stu's stool and wouldn't get up. So Stu finally had to like, put his foot down and be like look it's time for you to go and then that's when things went south the guy got, got um he, the guy got belligerent actually and then the the bouncer removed him then he went and put on a disguise with a <laughs> leather jacket and a cap snuck back into the bar and and was like came back to our table so then he got removed a second I time i love that they do too He's so me. I'm Mrs. after yeah. <laughs> no. he came in drag <laughs> after i read this um i was really upset because there's there's just no truth to it at all yeah. like at all and so i called marlo my attorney she called um du- dumois their attorney called back on a sunday she explained the situation so wait dumois is supposed to be like super anonymous like nobody knows who this person is we don't so know the marlo's per- attorney knows dumois attorney so what marlo happened? knows who dumois no no she i'm doesn't. sure they have oh. an attorney listed the okay. attorneys he stays in Got, front of okay. whoever it is okay. that's the content so okay. he contacted marlo immediately on sunday and they had a conversation about it and I, I guess what's very concerning is that, well, first of all, it's a, so for people that don't know, it is a huge blog or Instagram. Over a million. Yeah. 1.7 million people. Yeah. So they've blasted out to 1.7 million people that I was belligerent, I was drunk, I was abusive to a bartender. That is incredibly defamatory and slanderous. And I thought to myself, I can't prove damages, but if I was in the middle of negotiating an endorsement, a brand partnership, a licensing deal, and that company decided not to move forward because of this, I would sue them. And my feeling is, and I could prove damages at that point. Right Right now, I can't prove damages. I hope to God someone fucking sues them. And I hope it's me because I... Th- you can't do that. Mm-mm. And it's always, an, it's always anonymous, right? Everybody submits anon, their please. stuff and they'll write, Anon, please. Because look at even underneath you. It's like where somebody saw Taylor Swift at a restaurant and somebody else is Pedro Pascal. And, but they're all anonymous. Okay, but this is what I'm going to say about Dumois. Yeah. Knowing now that what they printed about me was a 100% fabrication, I, if you are following Dumas, I wouldn't believe a single fucking oh, yeah. thing they yeah. say. That's a good because point. in that this so, yeah. in this particular circumstance, they're fucking lying. They're lying. And right? they made it up. And it's bullshit because I, I I I don't I'm very gracious and I I've worked in the service industry before and I know what it feels like to be treated like shit. 
Yeah, so, we also can we, all attest. We, we go out to dinner with you all the time. We, we know this. We know that. That's we know how we generous I, we said, kind you are. So I'm like very it. upset by it. To so I said, service. I want, I want a retraction. And so then the attorney gets back to me and says, "Well, you said, you said that um, Dumois was was uh, they're liars." Uh, I'm like, what are you talking about? I've never even talked about them before. And first of all, they are liars, but whatever. I said, um, I don't know what you're talking about. And he said, they like said, when Mercedes Javid was on and Andrew Freund, and I don't know how long ago this was, check YouTube, check this, it's four minutes and 48 seconds, one minute and 32 seconds in, like they've done their research. So I look at it and I started talking about the blind item. Yeah, the Crazy Days article. And Andrew Freund jumped in and said something about Dumois. I didn't even know. Right. He, I never said anything about them. Fuck this. I'm calling the sheriff. So they said, basically, <laughs> if I retract what I said about them. Oh, stop. They'll retract <gasps> what they said about uh. me, but not even retract. They'll just let me comment. Quid pro quo. Fuck you. Fuck it, you. You're the liars, yeah. not me. You should be apologizing to me. A hundred percent. I am hoping to God someone sues them and takes away their house and their retirement accounts and fucking cleans them out. Because it is wrong. It is wrong to go on in front of 1.7 million people. And lie. And lie. Yeah. So guess what? No deal. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to retract what I said. But I didn't say it. Andrew Freund said it. And I'm also, uh, fuck them. I don't even need to comment on their stupid fucking blog. There you go. 